Today we're going to take a closer look and do repair on BMW seatbelt extender, which has pretty bad reputation on BMW E92. The company never did something similar to any other model in the lineup. That's not only the problem. Due to lack of the practical use of this type of technology, there was few mess ups. And one of them, it's a seatbelt material was the grain and collapsing on the middle. So even if the assembly working correctly, it still would fail. There also could be the spring in the belt drum, which is located under the plastic on the B pillar. If there are no tension, there are no catch. Anyway, in 90% of this problem is actually small metal bracket that gets broken and the tip of grabbing mechanism will not catch the belt. Although if it working correctly, it would compensate the lack of structural integrity of the belt or tensioner. But one thing we know for sure that the idea was really futuristic and interesting. What wasn't interesting is the way it would stop working over the years. And that's what we're going to be dealing with today. First of all, we need to pull the end segment out of the for further inspection. One way of doing it is to pull the fuse number 30 while the extender is out. Another way is to use the lock on the door, actuate by pressing it on while the door is open, being quick enough to remove the piece, which is, I think is not ideal because it has pretty tight clamp on it. So I prefer the option with the fuse. The next thing we are looking at it's a spring, which is supposed to hold and pull L-shaped bracket. But if we take a closer look on the bracket, it's badly damaged. From that step, we can remove and throw away the long spring, then gently break the piece that is bended. I'm using the pliers, but sometimes you can get away with screwdriver or so. Now we have to make sure that the remaining of the bracket is pushed all the way to the front of the extender hand. To do so, we need to close the tip of the assembly by pressing on a little button that is located on another button and we need to push that button as well. It's gonna happen while you're pushing on a smaller button. After you close it, we need to keep it in the lock position so you use rubber band or the rope. Use the pin tool to slide the leftover of the piece toward the front. Make a little gap in between to add some super glue. Also be pretty careful because if you glue something else, the thing will not ever work. So be pretty precise and before gluing it, make sure the head is moving freely. Oh yeah, after an hour. we can pop the piece back, same as the fuse, close the door, open it, and voila! Everything working as it's brand new. Hope the video was helpful, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!